Once upon a time, there was a tortoise who lived in the dry grasslands of East Africa. The tortoise's name was Sebastian. He spent his days moving very slowly through the grass and twigs and dusty places, looking for tender plants to eat. Most of the time, Sebastian kept his eyes focused on the ground, looking for those tasty plants. But every once in a while, he would crane his neck upward and look around to see the world around him. Most of the time, the view didn't change much. But when Sebastian spotted storm clouds gathering, or a predator like a lion or a hyena lurking, he would pull his head into his shell and tuck his armored front legs and back legs in, so that from the outside, only hard shell was visible. When danger was close, Sebastian just looked at the inside of his shell, or sometimes at the inside of his tightly shut eyes, and that helped him feel better. Sebastian grew up pretty convinced that the whole world consisted of the dust and grass under his feet and the trees and tasty plants around him. He didn't spend much time wondering what lay beyond the acacia and baobab trees that encircled his territory. He didn't wonder about the movement of the moon or the stars at night or the huge flocks of birds that sometimes passed overhead. He was simply content. But eventually, Sebastian had a son, a little tortoise who followed his dad around everywhere. Sebastian named his son Bennett. Unlike Sebastian, Bennett was curious and he asked his father what was beyond the horizon. When the sun rose and traveled across the sky, where did it come from and where did it go? When the wind blew the grasses until they bent, making the dust whirl around and sting their eyes. Where did the wind come from and where did it go? And why sometimes did the huge flocks of flamingos and other birds fly across the sky? Questions, questions. Bennett was always asking questions. But Sebastian just chewed on his tasty plants and breathed deeply and thought back on his many decades of life experience. If there is anything beyond the horizon, my son, it must be just like this, grass and dust and trees. There cannot be anything else. But the young tortoise wasn't so sure. Just because his dad had never experienced anything else didn't mean that something different couldn't be out there, just beyond the trees. Every once in a while, the wind carried the scent of something new and unfamiliar, and Bennett wanted to know what those things could be. So one day Bennett called out to a black eagle as the eagle flew overhead. What's beyond the trees, eagle? He asked. Eagle was pleased that the little tortoise was curious. And so eagle told him about the ocean whose waters never ended but wrapped around the whole earth. She told him about the snow on the top of Mount Kilimanjaro that was so cold it would surely make this little tortoise so sluggish he would fall fast asleep. She told him about the sand of the three vast deserts on the African continent. She even hinted that there were other lands with strange and wonderful animals beyond the ocean. Bennett was entranced by all he heard and he wondered, if he told his father these things, would his father believe him? Would he believe his eagle friend? Or would he simply tell the young tortoise that the only things he could count on were what he could see with his own eyes? What would you do if you were Bennett to gain wisdom about the world? <laughs>